Hi Ash, thanks very much for joining me today. No problem, so, thanks for having um, me. Do you want to describe exactly who you are and what you do? Yes, uh, I'm Ash Dykes, I'm a British adventurer and for the past few years I've been taking on adventures in various different parts of the world. Uh, two of those being world first in traversing Madagascar oh, wow. and traversing Mongolia's length uh, solo and unsupported. Oh wow, Madagascar is actually one of the top places that I'd love to go to in the world. Yeah, you need to, you need to, beautiful place. Really? Yeah, the biodiversity of it is just crazy and the fact that 75% of all plant life and wildlife are found nowhere else in the world makes it a, yeah, a unique place to visit for sure. So completely endemic to that area? Completely endemic to Madagascar only, yeah. yeah. What was the best animal that you saw when you were there? Possibly the northern sportive lemur. Oh, cool. That's one of the world's rarest primates, uh, and it's only located at north Madagascar, and there's said to be only about 50 left in the wild. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it was quite uh, special to get a glimpse of that. Brilliant. So how would you describe an adventurer? An adventurer, I'd say, is someone who wants to explore land that they're unfamiliar with, wants to challenge their limits, and it can be in all different fields of expertise. Um, for me, it's testing my physical and mental strength and limits, uh, exploring land that you know I'm eager to, to, to go out and, and, and see and go out and experience. So you actually have two world firsts. Well, so you please tell us exactly what a world first is and then what they are. Yes, yeah, so a world first is something that nobody's uh, ever completed before. Uh, so with my Mongolia expedition, I was the first person ever to attempt a solo and unsupported trek. You've got to really do your research, you know, it's not just research within the UK, it's global research to find if there's any evidence to suggest that anyone has done a solo and unsupported walk across Mongolia in which there was no evidence so I went over to Mongolia and again you know they work as a uh, community they travel in with their families and of course probably the likes of Chinggis Khan would laugh at me thinking why don't you just take a horse with you <laughs> so uh, and with Madagascar that was also a world first so people have actually walked the length of the island before but there's a central plateau where all the mountains lie in the centre of the island and so my idea was to traverse that central plateau, going right through the interior, through the heart of Madagascar, while summiting its eight highest mountains along the way, which uh, again, no evidence to suggest that that angle had actually been, been taken before. Probably the most difficult way, but it's something that I was preparing for and uh, I looked forward to it. It was great. Yeah, and you were saying that not many of the locals actually climb the mountains. Is that, so why, why is that? That's it. The locals try to stay away from the peaks of the mountains. Uh, it's tradition. They say that the, the bad spirits linger around the peak of the mountain, so they don't really want to get too close. Um, so for me, I was handed a white male chicken, and I had to take this chicken for two and a half weeks with me, keeping it alive, of course, up to the peak of one of the highest mountains in order for the bad spirits to keep a uh, respectful distance. Oh my God. Gertrude and his noises. Our last hour together before I set him free. Yeah. I look forward to it. What's probably really like the The most dangerous yeah. are okay, probably when I contracted the deadly strain of malaria whilst traversing Madagascar. I was uh, only a few hours away from slipping into a coma. On your way? A year was just me and a local Malagasy that I had for translation purposes. Uh, and I had to uh, get myself evacuated. Luckily, I managed to push on to make it to a settlement and got myself out of there to the, wow. to the next city in order to recover. But river crossings, some nighttime river crossings, one was so big that I had to build a raft using natural resources in order to, to cross. It was crocodile infested well, as well. Well, that's skills to build your own raft. Uh, yeah, it was just bamboo and bamboo leaves that we used to construct oh it. God. Yeah, and then we've got paracord, tent string to use to uh, strap on the rucksacks as well. And, and off we went across the river. Amazing. Yeah. So, wow, what's your next adventure then? Next adventure, uh, I can't reveal just Whoa. yet, unfortunately. But Give us a little snippet. It's going to be big. So can you tell us like when that will be, so people who are following you? Yes, I'm looking for it to be maybe at the end of next year. Okay. The end of 2017, uh, and follow through ashdikes.com and I'll be announcing it up on there. Wow, great. Well, thanks very much for your time today. No problem, thank great. you. Good luck. Appreciate it. <laughs>